All right, so today we're going to do a little update on the truck here. We'll start with the good. That's not in line six anymore. Uh, it's a brand new Jasper Rebuilt 302 board 60 over. It's got a thumpy Lunati cam in it. We'll do a whole other video on that later. The reason it's all dirty, it's only been in there a couple weeks, but the reason it's so dirty is it has some radiator problems, so it's got a, got a freshie in there. All right, so it's no secret this truck is pretty rough shape as far as body goes. It's got some rust in the door, not a big deal, you know, you can replace a door. Cab corner's going, gone, okay. Floor here, we had some repairs there. Actually, this whole pillar, you can watch it move when the door moves, so that's not cool. And then you got the bed I built, which was cool. Lasted okay, you know. But I'm, I'm kind of sick of that now. It's kind of falling apart. The fenders are all floppy now. Then you got this cab corner. It's going to. But then to top it all off, the day after we got the motor in, had a tree fall on her. And bashed the cab in pretty good. And the door as well. It's pretty rusty over here too. I mean, it's not as bad. There's been some work done over here, but still there's rust. So with the insurance money that I got, I said, you know, I'll buy myself another cab. And that's what that is. Pick this up. It's not in awful shape. It's fixable. It's got some corner problems, but I mean, it's just the outer corner. You look all up in here and it's all nice and nice and clean all the spot welds are still there and so this is still in pretty decent shape and plus it's got the rust hiding chrome rust hiding slash making chrome and it come with a whole bunch of garbage you know it's got the whole dash and steering column and stuff actually it's got an extra steering column in there it smells real bad in there though and uh, about about the time I got this home it was about the time I got on Facebook and was looking for more stuff and found this. It's a 79 F-150 and she's in pretty clean shape from the outside anyway. It looks like, you know, you can you can tell it, it's not it's not a pile like my cab. Truck. problem with this one is so the cabin doors and front clip that's all beautiful perfect shape it's had floor work done and I think it's had cab corners too but that's those aren't that's not a big deal to me problem of it is it's got this piece of shit plastic bed liner in there what that has caused it to do over the years is get quite rusty in the bed floor department and it's not just the floor, it's every single uh, cross brace too. So there'll be some work in that. Right now I'm working on ripping the, the front clip off and all the wiring out. Because someone did some really fine wiring on this, this year unit. Just bird nested her. But yeah, that's that's what's going on with the, with the truck situation. So I'm just pulling this body off and putting it on my frame. Um, people have asked why I don't just uh, take my brand new motor and put it in this fine piece of equipment here. And I don't want a four wheel drive and this frame isn't in the best best of shape. I mean it's not in bad shape but it's not, not great. And there would be a lot of parts to try to find. Um, all the, I'd need a tranny that would go to a transfer case. and drive shafts and when I was unloading it this rear end actually made a pretty hardcore clunking noise and uh, there's oil leaking out of this axle I don't know if it's just the axle seal or if it's just completely messed up here I could go show you the oil spot it's pretty wicked so yeah that's what's happening Yeah, that's where the back tire sat. 
And a lot of it's actually leaked through now, but. But yep. So we got a whole bunch of Ford stuff around here now. Uh, there'll be more videos shortly.